the winter of 2016 saw the arrival of a new locomotive to the generic HO scale lineup. This, of course, was the Lionel HO Polar Express. This was quite the polarizing locomotive. Some people hated it, some people loved it, and others were neutral. Its closest competitor was the Bachmann Standard 284 Berkshire. Now, laying all biases and internet forums aside, we are going to compare these locomotives side by side. Now, unlike most reviewers, I can vouch for both the pros and cons to these locomotives. So, for always, we're going to divide it up into sections, I'm going to get my honest opinion on these, and just throw in some footage. So here we go guys, here's the comparison. So the Bachmann 2A4 has been out for a few years and has gone through a few revisions. I had the first run, uh, it was not a bad locomotive by any stretch. The only issue with these would be the pulling power. Pulling power is notoriously weak. However, you can add weight, customize it to your liking, add traction tires if you so choose. But out of the box, the Bachmann model is really not that bad. Mechanically, it's fairly sound. I do always recommend getting another decoder because it will improve the motor performance tenfold. Now we'll do a little test of my version of the Botman Burke with mock sound on board. And as you can hear, it does hold its own fairly well to the Lion Chief. Now, my first and overall continuing impression of the Botman locomotive, it is not bad at all. It's a very eye-catching locomotive, it's well proportioned, and it has plenty of details. Now, between the Lionel and the Botman, the Botman's going to win hands down on detail. This is what it was built for. This is built to be a fairly accurate representation of Pair Marquette and Nickel Plate versions. Mine's a Nickel Plate, so you'll notice the Mars Light and various other road-specific details. The locomotive itself can navigate 18-inch curves. However, just for the sake of comfort, it looks better on 22. Uh, the Lionel, on the other hand, can navigate 18 with ease. Alright, the Lionel HO. My overall impression of this locomotive was very positive. Uh, I enjoyed the time I had with it. Very smooth performer. Uh, for their first attempt in many, many years, I was very, very impressed. The rail sounds were a little choppy. Uh, That's the one thing I do wish they would correct with the Lion Chief system overall, O gauge and HO. Bring back the old school rail sounds clarity and just quality of sounds for what you're paying for the locomotive. The one place this thing knocks the Bachman on its feet is performance. I was very shocked with how well this locomotive ran right out of the box. The drivetrain was very smooth, very quiet. Now we're talking on par with some of my new Broadway Limited stuff, and I've had everything from Paragon Blue Line to Paragon 2. This locomotive is right there with them. And if you so choose, this is one thing Lionel mentions, honestly, if you don't like the rail sounds, just stuff another decoder in there. This is a very good locomotive for the money. However, as I mentioned earlier, it does come at a large price. The MSRP for this locomotive from Lionel is $250. However, you can always go online. I saw it around $220 when they released it. My grand total with North Carolina sales tax was $267. A little steep, but I supported a local hobby shop and that was fine by me. Now, with that said, Compared to the Bachman, the Lionel will be a little more expensive. However, you're gaining freedom with the Lion Chief. Now, what exactly do I mean by this? Some of you may be wondering. Well, as I mentioned in the review, and one thing I did notice during filming, Lion Chief gives you so much more freedom of operation. As in, normally I would be tied down to the control stand for filming or just running trains. With Lion Chief, I could be on the other side of the layout, clean something up, and still have full control over the Berkshire. And I think that's honestly where this one pulls miles ahead of the Bachman. That and the strength alone. Uh, traction tires help this model phenomenally. Uh, the freight test, I think I got it on camera. It was 17 cars. I did stretch it a few more with some heavyweights just to see what it could do. And it did just fine. This is a very strong locomotive and it can easily handle whatever you're going to throw at it. Seasonal and or actual running. So detail-wise, this is obviously number two to the Bachman. This locomotive was not designed to be a rivet counter delight. This was designed to imitate the American Flyer S-Gauge version, 
When you compare the two designs, they are very close. And the HO is basically just a scaled down version of that. And that is just fine. However, if you're not picky about all the details, the Lionel does offer a very sufficient amount. Just enough for your casual layout, or maybe even a serious club model, or if you really want to weather it up and make it look nice. But they do have a good locomotive on their hands, and I'm really excited to see what Lionel will bring to HO, if they so choose to continue it. Now for the biggie, the straight side-by-side -side comparison. Now the one thing you will notice, and this is something I swore upon earlier, is just how close these locomotives are designed. I will say, we'll start off with the tender. Look at the tenders alone. I've included a few separate shots here. From the top on, they are almost identical. The Bachman does win with the actual handrails, the Lionel has them molded on, but just look how close these are related. And it's the exact same on the rear and on the front of the tender. Even the coal bunker is designed the exact same. Going up to the locomotives, there of course will be some difference. The Bachman Berkshire is obviously more detail oriented, so you will have much more detail and it'd be a little bit more eye appealing. The Lionel is cool in its own way. The large pilot does stick out beyond the front coupler of the Bachman Burke, so it does win in length. However, otherwise, these are very, very similar locomotives, especially from top on. When you look at the valve gear, the Lionel, despite the metallic wheels, does have a little bit longer stride. The Bachman is a little tighter in comparison, but both do match up fairly well. Okay, the big thing for anyone considering either of these locomotives is the price point. Now, it easily can be said, the Lionel is the big dollar in this equation. I paid, with North Carolina sales tax, $267. The locomotive has an MSRP of $250. Now, if it's, you're looking at very budget-friendly, the Bachman will be the winner. You can look on eBay, uh, just for the Paramarquette version alone with sound, is $200. Shipping will vary per always. Uh, if you're looking to DCC equipped, that's about 135 and about 15 for shipping. Always, if you can, shop your local hobby shops. Look around for good deals. But the Bachman will be your better price point. Now, one thing I'll make perfectly clear about the Bachman, you will need some form of DCC decoder once you buy it. I know that seems a little redundant, but believe me when I say that locomotive's performance is hindered so much by that stock decoder. Uh, the best I got out of it was installing an ESU lock sound. I've also seen very good results from TCS wow sound. Tsunami's hit or miss, but that's depending on who you ask. But either of those options, you cannot go wrong, and the locomotive will run fine. It's almost uncanny how close these models actually are once you unmask the veil of the internet and actually get them side by side. However, when it comes down to it, it at the end of the day, it is your decision as the buyer, modeler, whatever you so choose. Uh, the Bachman Berkshire is great if you're looking at the detail, always excellent candidate for DCC sound upgrades. And the Lionel, that's a very nice wild card. I'll leave it at that. A very solid wild card. It's a smooth performer. It'll pull just about anything you throw at it. And it's fun, which is different than most standard locomotives, which is a good thing. It's, it'll put a smile on your face, and <laughs> you'll enjoy it. Overall, you will enjoy it. Alright guys, and there you have it, a side-by-side -side comparison of the Lionel H.O. and Bachman Berkshires. With that said, I do love both of these locomotives. They're very welcome additions to my roster, and I'll run them just as long as I can. They're great engines. So uh, once more, it just comes down to your choice as the consumer. With all that aside, I'd like to thank all you guys for a fantastic year and a very good December. Uh, school, work, and then a few other things pulled me away from YouTube a little bit, but I do thank you all for sticking with me through the year. Um, got a few more fun ideas planned for next year, but we'll see what happens. Um, can't do it, of course, without you guys. Thank you all once more for the support, and I wish you all a very happy, healthy, and prosperous 2017.